Hey everyone, welcome back to Vantage with AI. Today, I'm excited to show you a brand new workflow featuring Ditto, an incredible model set that comes in three variants, Global, Global Style, and Sim2 Real. Each of these models has a unique purpose. The Global lets you add or modify objects within a scene. The Global Style transforms your entire video into a completely new artistic style, like anime, Ghibli, Lego, and the Sim 2 Real model does the reverse. It converts animated videos into realistic, lifelike visuals. Together, these make up a power-packed trio designed to work seamlessly with the WAN 2.1 T2V model for stunning visual generation. However, this combination can be quite heavy on consumer-grade GPUs, especially those with limited VRAM. To make things easier, I've created quantized GGUF versions of all the Ditto models. These optimized models work perfectly with the quantized GGUF version of WAN 2.1 T2V, and thanks to Q4 quantization, you can even run them on an 8 GB VRAM GPU. To follow along, you'll need to download a few models. But don't worry, all download links are provided both in the workflow and in the video description below. Here's what you'll need, WAN 2.1 CauseVid 14B T2V, LoRa. This allows video sampling in just four steps. WAN 2.1 T2V model the main video generation model, one of the Ditto models, global, global style, or Sim2 real, depending on your goal, WAN 2.1 VAE for decoding visuals, and the UMT5 XXL T5 encoder for prompt text encoding. You'll also find a list of sample prompts in the workflow to help you experiment and edit videos more effectively. All download links, including the workflow itself, are also available in the video description. While you're there, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more AI workflow tutorials, and leave a comment if you have any questions. I reply to almost all of them. Now, let's quickly go through the main sections of this workflow. Models Loader Group, this is where you load all the required models. Inputs Group, here you'll add your input video, prompt, and video resolution. Just ensure the input dimensions match your video, and everything will render perfectly in the correct orientation. Sampling group, this is where the actual video generation happens. For our first test, let's start with the global model, which allows us to manipulate specific objects in a scene. For our first test, we'll use this clip and the prompt, she is wearing a yellow jacket. Let's run it. The result looks fantastic. The model accurately followed the prompt, adding a yellow jacket to the dancer while maintaining the original motion. However, you'll notice that it slightly adjusted the lighting to better match the new context. That's just how it refines the realism. For example, when I change the prompt to change the clothes to anime style, the model partially stylized the character as well, blending realistic and anime elements. If you look closely at areas like the knees, the structure and shadows stay quite realistic, while the anime influence is subtly blended into both the body and clothing. Personally, I wish it had kept the character completely realistic, but that's how it works. Here are a few more tests I ran using the global version. Next up, let's try the global style model. This one reimagines the entire video style. We'll use the same input video and use this prompt, make it Golden Age Warner Disney style. Let's run it. The output looks incredible. It captures that classic golden era animation style perfectly while keeping all video elements cohesive and consistent. Here are a few more examples showcasing its range. And finally, let's test the Sim 2 Real model. For this one, I'll take the anime style video we just created and attempt to convert it back into a realistic format using the prompt, turn it into the real domain. Let's run it. Wow, this is truly impressive. The Sim 2 Real model flawlessly transformed the animated video into a realistic, natural-looking sequence with no traces of animation left. And that wraps up today's video. All the download links are in the description below, so feel free to experiment and see what you can create. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one with another exciting Coffee UI workflow. Bye for now.